Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a very exciting little review and just a chill drawing video really. Arteza were really really lovely and sent me these three sets of their branded Everblend art markers. They're alcohol markers and they're quite affordable and I'm very very excited to try them because as you guys know if you've seen videos on the channel I've mainly only ever used the Ohuhu markers and I was very excited to try a different kind of alcohol markers. So yeah this is what they look like. They come in these really awesome um, boxes that you can fold into a little stand that has the swatches at the bottom. It's all very like well thought out and it's it, they're just very very nice as much as i did love the packaging for the markers i actually got this really cool arteza travel case for my markers because i wanted to put all three sets inside the same like case <laughs> so i could use all three sets at the same time so they sent me the deco tones the tropical tones and the skin tone set so I'm very, very excited to do a little illustration using all of these lovely markers and give you guys my official review of them. So for today's actual drawing, I had these little sketches that I did at a coffee shop the other day that I thought would be perfect for a chill little drawing where I can test out these markers, something comfortable, something nice. And I'm going to be doing this illustration in my Archer and Olive Pipa sketchbook from my collaboration with Archer and Olive. I just love the sketchbook and it's super friendly to like all materials and mediums. So I definitely wanted to give them a go on my favorite paper and see how they how they fare. And I basically just went in with my pencil and did a like the basic sketch of the drawing, which I then lined with a red pencil from my Faber Castell Polychromo set. I I really love lining with red pencil, as you guys know, so that's how I usually do my clean lines. I, of course, erased all the pencil lines and it was time to actually get into using the markers. So here is the big bad boy full of markers. It is quite overflowing, but yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, actually, before I started drawing, uh, I didn't show you guys, but I did do a full swatch sheet of all of these markers on proper marker paper so I could see exactly what these uh, markers look like and then I thought I'd do a little swatch just on this particular paper because obviously markers will look different from paper to paper, especially uh, if they're not being used on proper marker paper. So it's always best to do a little swatch on the paper that you're using, regardless of what material you're, you're, you're using. <laughs> And I just kind of got to work putting down flat colors. I'm absolutely obsessed with the color reproduction of these. It's just so gorgeous. And they are called Everblend markers. And I kind of really get why they're called that because they are so effortless to, to blend with each other. Again, I don't know if it's because of the specific paper that I'm using, but honestly, it was a dream to use these. There was... Uh, really no struggle in um, having these markers blend with each other. It was, it was honestly just a very nice experience from start to finish. As you can see here, I just was kind of very slowly and casually putting down all of the shadows on top of my base color. And usually I do this quite quickly because I'm scared that it'll like dry in place and then I won't be able to blend these uh, shadow tones with the base color that I use and, you know, make a, ni a nice effortless blend. But honestly, they blend effortlessly regardless of how long you've left them. So I'm very, very excited to show you guys how this piece turned out because these markers have like the most beautiful vibrant colors and even after blending with each other the colors are still so vibrant with some of the markers that i've tried in the past after blending a lot of colors together especially using a blending marker it can like water down the color for some reason it creates a sort of like a a, a wet spot and it it just desaturates the color and then it becomes like unworkable I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys, but it's very frustrating and I feel like it kind of ruins the piece because you, no matter what color or what marker you put on top of it, it just kind of just doesn't, it dissipates and disappears, I don't know why, but definitely not the case here. Even when I did use the blending marker, it was an absolute dream and I'm usually very hesitant about using blending markers. 
I don't know, I just usually prefer blending with whatever base color I've used to blend any like shadows or highlights. This video is not sponsored by Arteza, by the way. Um, these were gifted, definitely, but this is my actual honest review of these. So yeah, as you can see, I kind of went for a bit more purpley lavender color palette for this piece, just because the colors that I got, especially in the uh, the deco and tropical set, had such beautiful variations of these like pinkish purples and bluish purples, and I just think they're very very gorgeous, and I think they really work to well together. The lavender and this sort of mauvey sort of purple pink color, and I really wanted to to try those those colors out. So as you can see here, I just kind of started going in with darker colors over the top of the base colors to start adding more depth and add a bit more dimension to the piece. And again, even with this layer of shadows, I didn't even have to go in with a blender to blend the ends in with the original base color. They just kind of blend in on by themselves and it's just really satisfying and saves a lot of time with every piece, honestly. I did forget to mention, you've probably noticed this already, but these markers have a chisel tip and a brush tip. So these are their new line of Everblend markers that have a brush nib. And you guys know I love a good brush nib. It is so sexy and nice. And they just, for, for some reason, like I noticed that they make blending a lot nicer and they're just a lot more versatile in my opinion. Like you can really control the size of the tip that you're, you're using when you're drawing with them. And I, I just prefer them to the usual bullet and chisel tips. Yeah, once I was pretty much happy with all of the base colors and blending that I'd done, I went in with my Arteza fine liners. I got these ages ago, honestly, and I still use them so, so often, especially with marker drawings, because I love going in after doing all the rendering with the markers and just adding those final details and line work in with the fine liners. It's a really large set that I got of colored fine liners. They're 0 0.4 millimeters, and I'm very, very happy with how they worked together with the markers. I, I've always had really high expectations for Arteza. They've never really let up, and I'm yeah, I'm, I'm glad to report that the Everblend markers definitely fit the pattern. They're just very lovely, and they work lovely with all of their other supplies as well and art materials. You can really see here how much of a difference going in with a like dark fine liner and adding in all these details makes such a difference. It's, it honestly makes the piece really feel a little bit more finished to me and I can't really see a, an illustration being quite finished in my eyes without doing this step <laughs> now that I've gotten used to doing it. This is also where I get to do like all the really fine little details that you sometimes can't do with um, an alcohol marker just because the nibs are usually quite thick. No, even if you do have a brush nib, there's only so much of a thin tip you can you can make it or there's only so little pressure you can apply. I then went in and just added some um, extra shading to her sweater since I'd forgotten to render that out earlier. And I went in with actually a dark blue just to see how these two different colors that aren't as similar as, for example, the colors that I use on her face and how they would work 
blending together and I was actually quite satisfied. They're quite cute. Of course, you guys know me, I had to add in some sparkles everywhere. It's really not a surprise at this point, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm sure you guys were waiting to see when I was gonna add sparkles <laughs> into this piece. And once I was happy with, you know, all of the, these details, especially on the borders of the illustration, I went in and erased all the pencil lines. And then finally, I usually like to go in with one of my Archer and Olive Acrylograph white pens to just kind of fix any mistakes that I've done and also add the really, really popping highlights. So like the little gleams of light in the eyes, the little glistens and just the really intense white highlights everywhere. And again, this is a step that I cannot ever miss out on doing. I just don't feel like a piece looks really finished without it. So you guys will see me do this honestly on any sort of medium. I always at the end go in with my acrylograph pen regardless if it's a painting, a drawing, whatever. I just think it's just a really important step and because this is a paint marker it will obviously draw on top of anything and be super opaque. As I've said many many times before, I, I just really enjoy these pens. They're perfect. I just went in, added some highlights to the hair, highlights to her eyes and her face, just really make her look more and more three-dimensional and really asserting the light source in this piece. Finally, I wanted to add just a little bit more of a touch of blush to her cheeks, so I went in again with the same red pencil that I did the line art with uh, from my favorite Castell Polychromo set, and just added a little bit more blush to her face and her lips. And again, I really enjoy going in at the end with a black pencil or uh, just a darker pencil and add a bit of texture to the piece. I really enjoy mixing styles and mediums, as you guys know, and I just really love mixing in the, the textures of pencil in with like the smoothness of the markers. I just think it adds just a really cool effect. So yeah, that was it for today's illustration. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely obsessed with how it came out. I'm so, so happy with these Everblend markers. I'm definitely going to be using them a lot more in my future videos and also Twitch streams. I sometimes Twitch stream doing marker illustrations. Hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing me use these in the future. Thank you again to Arteza for sending me these lovely markers. Do check out Arteza's website right now. They have a holiday sale going on, so don't miss out on it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.